Morning, welcome back to uh, Hello Billy. This week's uh, 10 minutes to better bushcraft. Now I've just been out with Billy for his uh, for exercise for the morning. Now I could have easily filmed this film outdoors and what have you, but uh, on my dog walk, but I didn't want to come across as taking the piss really. So so we're, so we're back into uh, back garden. So we'll do it here. But uh, yeah, 10 minutes to better bushcraft. Now I hope you're all getting on alright with this. Uh, coronavirus stuff and you're managing staying indoors and things like that but I tell you what I feel for the people who, who, who struggle with the mind and uh, any mental issues and things like that it must be bloody hard work just you know being isolated if you will so shout out for anyone with any issues like that and uh, you know keep strong but uh, a good thing is to keep busy and have lots of uh, jobs to be doing and, and you know whether that's gardening or whatever it is just stay busy jobs in your house but saying that you can't get out to buy stuff for that but uh, even if you're into bushcraft keep yourself busy with little bushcraft projects practicing your knife skills practicing your axe skills all sorts of little bits and pieces like that there's a million and one little projects you can do I mean this week I've done a couple of myself I'm working from home, so in between working from home, I've done a couple of bits and pieces. So this is uh, a hobo reel. So I made a hobo fishing reel, and uh, I knocked another little coxer up yesterday. So that just needs finishing off. But uh, two great little projects that are really easy to do, but fantastic for knife and axe skills. I'll show you a bit of a closer look up at them. That just needs finishing off bit more fine carving and then this is the hobo reel that we made so dead simple to do in one end I've got a spinner so I've put a spinner in that end that's just stuck in the end of uh, the cork to make it a bit more secure and easier to store and then in the other end I've got uh, there's uh, hooks, there's swivels and there's uh, some weights and bits and pieces like that and then plenty of line on there so we'll give that a good try when we're back out and about but yeah, two nice easy projects. Yeah, that's just done me a Swiss Army knife and uh, my Laplander and an axe. And that's it. So, good little project. So bushcraft skill for today, or bushcraft tip, is going to be around bow drill and friction fire. And we're going to look at how to ensure that we've got a good ember and how to extend that ember. So it's a very important skill and something I've learned through experience from uh, using the bow drill all year round in uh, cold and crisp environments, cold and wet environments, warm and wet environments, dry conditions. All every, every environment we can think of that we get in the UK, I've done my bow drill. And I've found that it's all very well getting an ember, but it's then converting that ember to fire. So you've got to find decent tinder, but even if you've got half decent tinder, a lot of the year round it's relatively damp and it's quite easy to run out of ember. Even though you've created your ember and you're blowing into it or you're wafting it around to get that oxygen in to set fire to your tinder bundle, quite often you'll run out of ember depending how damp this tinder bundle is. So we're going to look at a dead easy way to extend that ember which is going to give you a lot better chance to light that fire. So this is a tip for today. Let's do it. We've got a tinder bundle. That's made up of uh, rose bay willow herb from last year and some cleavers from last year. So I've got cleavers and rose bay willow herb that's more or less dry. The cleavers are a little bit on the damp. They're not so bad. They're all right. They'll work. What we're going to use to extend this ember it's just simple this, this is just uh, punk wood that I found on the floor in the forest 
as I've been walking Billy this morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of this punk wood and this will make a massive difference to our success rate. First job as always, start afresh with this. Let's try and get this out without the wind blowing it away. I've got one ember. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle some bits of punk wood on it. I'm doing here is I'm extending this ember. All these little bits of punk wood are just making the ember bigger. See it there? Normally little bits of punk wood. They're just giving us a slightly bigger ember. See it catching fire on that side. Whoa! That's the wind. Normally I'd have this in me in my tinder bundle by now. Okay. It's a lot bigger.
basically that's how you do it. So an ember extender for uh, for inclement conditions and whether it's not ideal or fantastic. And all it takes is that little bit of punk wood. Just put that on your ember and uh, extend your ember. Give yourself a better chance when it comes to blowing that fire into uh, fruition. Just gives you that extra five minutes of uh, of time. Because depending how big your ember is, once you start blowing, if you've not got real good tinder, you can quite often blow that ember out and expend the the full ember. Yeah, but if you extend it, it gives you more time to heat up that tinder and dry it out. If it needs that little bit of drying out, you've got a better chance of it catching light. So definitely, yeah, uh, that's a top tip I would say. So. Yep, think about doing that. And it's not cheating, it's just using what's around you. Yep, if you wanted to do it really easily, yep, i just put a bit of charred punk wood on that instead of punk wood. Charred punk wood on that uh, ember, and you're laughing. You've got a fire for sure. Yep, so and there's very various fungi that you can use as well. Yep, scrapings from fungi, even, even your, your uh, Ganoderma, your Roshizuf, uh, all that sort of stuff. Obviously your hammer do and things like that, but there's no point wasting it. You're better off just using a bit of punk wood if you can. And, uh, and you get it going. Alright. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hope you're all keeping safe. And uh, we'll catch you again soon. ta -ra.